A lot of English speakers have questions about ser and estar, the, the to be in Spanish. And that's because uh, in Spanish, there's two different ways to say to be, like I am or you are. Ser is used to describe or talk about things that are more permanent, also uh, like the hour of the day, a date, a place, origin, occupation, uh, nationality, religion, political affiliation, those types of things. Whereas estar is used to talk about things that are less permanent, things that might change, like your position, your location, or actions, or conditions, emotions, because your emotions might change, right? Anna and I are going to read some examples for you, but uh, before we jump into the examples, I just want to uh, kind of express something. For example, uh, when we use ser and estar, keep in mind that ser is more of the permanent stuff, like yo soy ingeniero, I am an engineer. Uh, that's something to do with me that's pretty permanent, okay? But estoy in Arizona, um, I am currently in Arizona, but tomorrow I might be someplace else, but I'll still be an engineer. That makes sense, right? What happens with English speakers is we get confused. We start to analyze, should I be using ser or estar? And sometimes it does make a difference. Like if you can say, soy feliz, that's kind of a permanent thing. That means I'm kind of uh, always happy. I'm a happy person. But estoy feliz uh, implies that right now I'm happy. I might not be happy tomorrow, or maybe I was not happy yesterday, but right now, estoy feliz. The problem is that we tend to overanalyze which one should I use and we get stuck. So these examples that Anna and I are just about to read for you will help you kind of understand when to use ser and when to use a star. And the main thing is just don't get stuck. If you're not certain, just keep on talking. Use either one, ser or a star. The, the Spanish speakers are going to know what you're saying and they might even help you or correct you and pay attention to what they use. Okay, so Anna, let's go ahead and read the, these first 10 examples for people. I'll read the uh, English, you read the Spanish, and then uh, we'll just go through this and then we'll give them the document and they can do the other ones, okay? Soy profesor de la universidad. I am a university professor, or we could say I am a professor at the university. No estoy contento o feliz con mis compañeros de trabajo. I am not happy with my co-workers. Ella era muy buena estudiante. She was a very good student. También podemos decir, ella fue muy buena estudiante en su último año. She was a good student in her last year. All right. Ella estaba contenta de dejar ese trabajo. She was happy to leave that job. Eres la mejor jugadora del equipo. You are the best player on the team. Or you are the team's best player. ¿Estás enfermo? Are you sick? ¿Eres enfermo? ¿Eres enfermo? This is a great example because the, verse, the difference between estar and ser mm -hmm. makes a big difference uh, in, in what you're asking here. Es muy bueno en lo que hace. It, he's very good at what he does. Ella está cansada de hacerlo. She is tired of doing it. Somos soldados de por vida. We are soldiers for life. Now, something that came up is de por vida is a really useful phrase that everybody should remember. Uh, it means forever, like para siempre, uh, por el resto de la vida, for the rest of your life or their life. Right. I love that. Yeah, de por vida. It doesn't sound doesn't sound correct, but it sounds wonderful, if you know what I mean. Okay? Excellent. Estamos yeah. en problemas. We are in trouble versus you're going to be in trouble with your mother. Vas a estar en problemas con tu mamá. Uh, so those are the first 10 from this uh, document that we're sharing with you. We would love for everybody to uh, do the rest of them. I think there's 25 here in this document. Do them. If you have any questions... Uh, or if you could post your answers uh, and uh, ask any questions, 
give it a shot and remember that it's great if you make mistakes. That's fine. This is the safe place to make mistakes. So try and do that without uh, Google Translate or something. Just have a go at it. Nos vemos. Okay. Ciao for now.